the bat with Alex Dennis Alexio, 28, a three-year difference there. No, no real advantage or disadvantage. 191 pounds to 194. Cornici has a three-inch reach, but not nearly the experience. Alexio, with 27 knockouts, is one of the great knockout percentage fighters in all of kickboxing. And as we start into round one here for the heavyweight championship of the world, Maurice Tornisi does not look to be anywhere near as big or strong as Alexio, although he does land the good left there. Alexio, John, you're the color guy. I'm going to uh, let you explain <laughs> what color exactly that is on Dennis Alexio's trunks. Those are some bad yellow. Those, that's what exactly what that is. It's bad yellow. Bad yellow, okay. A couple of good, strong oh. kicks by Alexio. Good right hand. And again, much thinner and doesn't look to be anywhere near as strong Maurice Tornisi showing no fear of Dennis Alexio, although he probably should at this point. But Tornisi's got some strong eyes. He's looking he's looking holes through Alexio, but I don't know. I don't think he win fights with your eyes. He's uh, He is coming in. He does uh, seem to have some confidence. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. He doesn't seem to be intimidated or afraid, at least not at this point. Alexio, Alexio just kind of biding his time and throwing power kicks in there. Maurice Tornisi in the red. Dennis Alexio, the world heavyweight champion in the bad yellow, as kicks up, kicks John Worley has called it. First round, scheduled 12. Probably will not go that far for the heavyweight championship of the world. If anything, though, Alexio has a tendency sometimes to get a little relaxed. We saw him against uh, Kevin Na Lowell Nash. Rather, uh, Lowell Nash get knocked down because he got too relaxed. Kind of, kind of backed up there and dropped his hands, and Nash really nailed, a, nailed him with a, a good right hand. So if he gets a little bit too relaxed in this fight, anything can happen. It could. Dennis, uh, I would guess, has not been, in, he's not been in the ring for a while. He might want to play for a while rather than do a first rounder. But a good series of punches there and a, a back leg round kick as we come down to the end of the first round for the heavyweight championship of the world. Seems as though the, uh, it looked as though the guy on the bell maybe was going to wait until Victor Valley quit talking. <laughs> Could have been here all night. He's a man of great respect, Victor Valley. Dennis Alexo, the bad yellow, and Maurice Tornisi from France, the challenger in the red. Second round, schedule 12, heavyweight championship of the world and four super fights. Good left hand there by Dennis. <laughs> Starting to get to be a little bit of a pushing, shoving match, and uh, even though Tornisi is not as strong as Alexio, he's got that height, so he's leaning on him a little bit. John, I would, uh, I would think that inside is absolutely the wrong place for Tornisi to be, but he seems to to want to be there, and I'm not sure I understand why. Do you? You know, unless he just feels real comfortable fighting inside, he's doing a lot of leaning and pushing, and he's catching a lot of punches right now. He's making it difficult, uh, making it more difficult, I think, for uh, Alexio to land to land uh, the real clean punches in there when he's inside. And Alexio's having a little trouble with the height. He's throwing some kicks to the head, and they're hitting, but they're, they're kind of at the end of his power because he's having to reach to get them up there. Now, the last time that we saw Alexio fight anybody this tall was Buck, and in that fight, Alexio, good right hand by Dennis Alexio, and Tordisi is hurt, and he is down. That one hurt him. You could see it staggering. There was a follow-up left that wasn't as strong. Tornisi will continue. How are you? He needs to right. survive just about 30 seconds in this round. His, his eyes are still glassy, though. He does, his eyes don't look good at this point. He's still kind of hurt. I think some other where would be the place for him to be right now, but he keeps coming in, and he is taking left by the left round kick, and now we have Tornisi mugging a little bit. I'll tell you what, this guy has either got supreme confidence or a... Uh, a definite self-destruction wish. You don't do that. When you're when you're hurt, you don't sit there and taunt the guy. Well, an interesting turn here as we come to the end of round two. Keeping his head in there, Victor Valley, Third a long round. time famous boxing trainer, working with Dennis in the corner. Dennis also does a little boxing on the side. Round three, schedule 12, heavyweight championship of the world on the line. John, how do you have it scored? I gave the last round big to uh, Alexio. It's 20 and 17 and a half as Alexio really opens up. This is, uh, this is Dennis wanting to get rid of this. I don't think he likes the clowning. And Tornisi still has a, I don't know if that's a smile or a grimace on his face, but he is not hurt or does not appear to be, despite the fact that he is taking. Don't push. No pushing.
Cornice oh, takes one shot. in the ribs there, and that one hurt him. That is Alexios' trademark. Left hook into the lower ribs, and he will come right back to that if he holds true to his form. A great left hook to the lower ribs. Cornice is down. Watch for the left hook into the ribs again. There's the foot into the ribs. Dennis loves those ribs. Dennis a little excited there and slipped as he kicked. Well, Dennis is trying to land that kick to the head. Alexio trying to go up to the head. He's really kind of out of range. He ought to continue to work the body as he's doing now. There's a oh, second God. left into the ribs again. And once again, Tornisi is down. And referee Fred Corritone has stopped this fight in the third round. That is all of it. No more for Maurice Tornisi. A towel coming in from his corner. And I don't know that Torisi particularly wanted to get up and do any more anyway. No, I think it was the right thing. I think the referee has stopped the fight before the towel came in the corner because it was no longer a contest. Uh, Tornisi took some terrible shots to the body there. You can see he didn't have anything left to fight with. The crowd is just going crazy. They love Dennis Alexio here, and they like to see that kind of ending to a fight. They do like Dennis Alexio, and frankly, New Yorkers are just a great fight crowd, always have been. As we look at Victor Valley working on Dennis Alexio, Alexio will continue as the heavyweight champion of the world. And let's see if we can get a look at this. Dennis Alexio is just so strong, so physically strong. Look at him just bang those kicks in there, knocking Tornisi back. Tornisi is $195, 195 pounds, and he just gets forced back into the ropes with the force of the kicks. Alexio a little bit hyper here. He's not really picking his shots, but we're going to see again that left hook that he's really, this is the same punch that he stopped Jeff Buck with the last time Alexio fought. He's really getting where he wades in there and gets his body into that hook. You can see him wind it up, and wow, there right it is. There. Great shot of that one, and uh, I, trust me, folks, those hurt.